Welcome back, everyone. This is SciTech with Tech Riot Gaming here with another episode in our Planet Crafter Hardcore playthrough. Uh, today we've got just kind of small things to do. Um, I wanted to go back to the Warden's Paradise and get the remainder of the contents of those golden crates. Um, also, one of the viewers pointed out a flower growing nearby there that I missed, which I also want to try and snag. <clears throat> when we get back, I will try and launch some rockets. Uh, get our index up a little bit more. Um, I did take a look at that uh, food that I said I wanted to make um, that we unlocked. It is up here in the bio lab. Show that off. Um, right here, the high quality food. Obviously, I have beans for days, so we have that, but we don't have the honey, and the honey comes from the tier 2 beehives. Um, and those are... Unlocked right here. So at 225T. So we have quite a ways to go. We need to get our insects going hardcore. So what we'll probably be doing is um, <clears throat> dropping more of the beehives and the butterfly domes. I might concentrate on the butterfly domes because these can have the multipliers um, and we're not too far away from getting some more butterfly larva unlocks which is good um, <clears throat> KT is like yeah so we're a ways away from our heaters and stuff like that but we'll see how far we make it today obviously we just unlocked our fabric as made with our silk generator, which I assume we have to put a, a silk larva in. I'll maybe drop one of these down too, um, so we can see what it does. Um, I need to create some more um, uh, tree seeds in the uh, DNA manipulator. I wanted to go see what that's going to take actually, because <clears throat> I'm not sure if I have what it takes. Oh yeah, see that plant orama? I don't. I might have one out there in one of my spreaders, but I'm not 100% sure. So we'll go look. And if I do, I'm not so sure it's going to be worth pulling it out. But I did get a 600 flower. Actually, I might be able to do that right now because I think I did get a 600 flower when we were in the paradise. Let's see. Overflow. Yep, we got a couple of them actually. So let's go pull these out. <clears throat> Well, there's another tree seed. Oh. Have to look at what that one is. Um, it's not that. There we go. 450. So we're going to pull that, put that in there. Uh, let's grab some water, some food. Mm. I think it's this one. <clears throat> yeah, this bonus plant. So we're going to pull that and we're going to put the 600 in here. Oh, look at more trees. So these are definitely changing because when I was off camera, I had trees going all the way down this beach. So I don't know if they're like disappearing and then regrowing. I don't know what the deal is there or if they're just randomly spawned in when, you, when I start the game and you get what you get until your next session, maybe. Not quite sure on how that's working, but it seems to be varying quite a bit. Um, all right, uh, let's go up and check that new seed recipe we just got. All right, there we go. Volness. We have a volness on us right now, so we can make one of these. We'll put a tree spreader out with the volness plant in it. I mean, that's going to help with our oxygen multiplier. Not that we really want to grow that. We want to grow insects, but hey, we. We need to get some more trees. I want to see some more trees. So we'll try and get that done. Um, and I might put it... Yeah, I might put it... Maybe over here where we have a, a narrow waterway. Or maybe down there where I can like grow more trees on more of the banks and beaches. We'll see. Um, but I want to get this sequencing right away. So what do I need for this? I need mutagen and tree bark. Okay, 
That is gonna be... You know what, there's mutagen over at Paradise. Let's go get the rest of the stuff we had at Paradise and um, we'll come back. Drop both of those in there. Uh, let's grab some water. Four, five, six. Let's go grab a little food. aren't ready yet so we'll pull some out of our excess storage we'll take three with us for now and I'll just eat a squash here to boost me up okay can't wait till I unlock teleporters I can just teleport to these various areas like putting one of those tree spatters like right down in here or something so they can spread trees on all the banks would be kind of cool, I think. Again, I'm not entirely sure why this isn't greening up like everything else. I kind of wish it would, but... There's another rare flower. Look at that. That's a Volnus. Right, we grab that. The other one was right up here. There it is. It's another Volnus, looks like. I think I'm gonna drop those off and I think I'm going to drop some of the O2 off. Drop some of the water off and the food just so we have enough carrying capacity to get all this stuff out of here. Coming down here is never going to get old. <laughs> okay, I say that now. Imagine if I came down here 40 times, it would get old. <laughs> I love this grass. I wish it was growing in other places. Now, if I stop in here, am I going to get some butterfly larvae to spawn? Look at that. <laughs> I landed a golden one, but I'll take a blue one. I was really hoping for another butterfly larvae. Oh, look at that. Outdoor gardens. Well, I can tell you we're going to play with that today. I've been waiting for those. <clears throat> a viewer did leave a comment about them saying that they grow like four or five plants versus just the one in the in the food grower. So we're going to try and check those out for sure. All right. I was hoping to find another butterfly larvae, but I don't see one at the moment. It's hard to see under this foliage, too. Sometimes they spawn in this stuff. Oh, there we go. Yay. That was a 1,500%, I think. Okay. Take all that out. Kill that. 
Okay. Perfect. <laughs> Doesn't get old looking at those key stacks either. Oh, look at that. Another butterfly, another blue one. I like looking for them up here because it's sand, a lot of sand, and it's easier to see. Thinking I had a storage cabinet in here, but I don't. That's okay. We need one more, and that'll give us another two butterfly domes. I mean, I realize that I can make them, but I'd rather just find them and pick them up. I'd like to get lucky and find another yellow, or another gold, I mean. We'll take a blue. It's not fifteen hundred like the gold, but it's twelve hundred, which is good enough for me. Getting tricked out by the glitters, thinking that there's a gold one. <clears throat> Think I got spoiled. Okay, rain coming to an end. All right, well, that's our four butterflies larvae. <clears throat> we'll grab our air, we'll get out of here, we'll head back, and we'll start doing some fun stuff. Okay. Maybe not super fun, but more fun than just doing a resource run. <clears throat> I was hoping that was going to be a gold butterfly. Did not get that lucky. Okay, away we go. Let's see if we can get some butterfly larvae to spawn out here. <laughs> Thought that was a butterfly larvae. It's just a green marking on the ground. Okay. <clears throat> How are we doing here? Let's eat a food, drink a water, should be able to get those.
Putting some uh, tree spinners down in here would be cool too because it would like populate all this land with uh, trees as well. I'm going to need uh, another fusion generator, so I want to come back here and, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, go into the uh, power quartz cave and gather up some of that power quartz that's in that cave. I don't believe I'll be able to put a drill in there until we get tier 3 extractors, and even then I'm not so certain that a tier 3 extractor is going to pull power quartz, <clears throat> but it might. I apologize for my coughing and clearing my throat a lot. I'm, I'm, I have allergies going on right now that are pretty severe, so I'm trying not to do that very often, but might be happening a little bit here in this episode. That should give us a significant boost if we get two more uh, butterfly domes going. Uh, let's see, seeds and flowers. Uh, yeah, I need methane and sulfur. So let's see. <clears throat> Gonna turn one of these um, bacteria into a mutagen. Then we'll have two mutagens, two flowers. I need two barks. We should be able to synthesize two of those seeds. Uh, what's the recipe again? Bark mutagen. Okay. I don't know if they have to go in in that order, but I'm gonna do it in that order start sequencing okay so it's going to take a minute we will create our other mutagen go down and drop off these few minerals that i did pick up into our third cabinet for aluminum that's fantastic Alloy. Almost full up. If I took the rod out, it would be full up on super alloy, which is really good. Um, I'm going to consider this bacteria to be man made for the moment. So I'm going to put that there. Waiting for the tree spreaders. Um, let's see. I do have one tier, oh, I have two tier two fertilizers and a regular. So let's see what we need. I need one more regular fertilizer. All right, so that's gonna be one, two, three. Sulfur to eggplant, I think. Don't know if I have any eggplant ready. Oh, we do. Fantastic. I'm going to grab all of this out of here because I want these regrowing again. And we'll just stick our access up here in the uh, over in the, the other chest where we were keeping them before. <clears throat> 
Okay. If I have room. Yeah, I do. I'm gonna drop eggplant in there for now. Okay, so we should have enough. Let's just double check this. 60%. Should have enough to do two more butterfly domes. Uh, I'm not sure on the power though. Let's take a look at this. One, so it's gonna be 280 on the power. Okay, so we can do those first and then we'll go over to the power quartz cave and try and gather up some more power quartz so we can do another generator. Um, so right now we're gonna do our, let's grab both of those. Grab that, I think I need two, yeah, two super alloy, two bark, four super alloy, two bark, and two zeolite. All right, one, two, three, four. Mm. This is interesting. Okay. Oh, it's just a... Uh... Ah, dang. So, uh, Gamers Unite had told me that to be on the lookout for uh, a special meteorite that comes down big and loud and then it'll drop some special stuff. Uh, but he mentioned that it's just a singular one. So um, my guess is that these are not it. I was looking for some osmium, but I don't see any osmium that dropped here. These are huge pieces of meteorite. Yeah, I'm not gonna be able to see anything that dropped from these. At least I don't think I will be able to. Yeah, it's near impossible to see anything that dropped from these guys. All right, back to building our Need two zeolite crystals. Drop off this sulfur. Okay, we should be able to make this. Yep. <clears throat> so I'm just going to daisy chain these off of uh, the current ones, I think is what I'm going to do. Might look stupid because I don't have anything quite poking out that far on the rest of my build, but... Thought that was gonna be glitching out because I put them together, but it doesn't look like that. This might be difficult to get in place. Well, maybe not. Okay, perfect. All right, this should do wonders for our insect, I think. It's not quite three golds and a blue, but we'll take three blues and a gold. Blueprint received butterfly display box. Let's do that. Thank you very much. <laughs> it's awesome. I love these butterfly domes. All right, let's check on our tree seed. See if we can't get this other one researched. Yep, pull that out. Um, bark, mutagen, flower. Research, start sequencing. All right, <clears throat> what do we need for a tree spreader? I think we only have the one level of tree spreader right now. Okay. 
This is all doable. Oops. <laughs> Still sometimes have trouble navigating that. Four, five, six. Um, bioplastic. I don't know how many bioplastic. Mm. If I remember correctly, that's two mushrooms. I can't. I maybe silica. I don't remember. I'll have to go up and look. Um, okay, I need sulfur. Some water. Three. And some eggplant. <laughs> Turned a little too quick. Okay. Bioplastic. What do we need for that? It's two mushrooms, silica. I was right. And water. It's funny that you need um, bark for both of those things, both the spreader and the seed. Um, mushrooms. It's a lot of up and down the stairs. I apologize. Um, what I need, super ally. Just need a one, right? Yeah. What's this saying? Food. All right. Now, where do I want to put this? I don't know that I want to put it out on this lake again. It's just, I think I want to try over here. See how far in I can get this. Okay, that only is 31 watts of power, which is good. All right. Is there any osmium from those meteorites? Oh, there's one piece. And some sulfur. Let's see what fell over here. So there should be something. There we go. I haven't been over to that osmium drill yet, so should probably go try and loot that once or t at least once this episode. No way I'm going to be able to see all these larvae in this tall grass and flowers. <laughs> Unless I like walk right over it. Okay. Drop off these things we picked up. Let's get some water. All right. Let's go check our numbers out. going up super fast but still ticking up oh my gosh this is gonna take forever 2.9 percent to breathable atmosphere although it will be cool to not have to worry about oxygen anymore um what is moving slow up here obviously our pressure is our heat is 
oxygen we just put out the tree spreader so hopefully that will help i guess we just need to do some rockets oh i wanted to play with these gardens oh two bee larva 45.5 okay uh i'm assuming these things go outside also um This looks like it's another osmium. Mm, yeah, it's osmium. Okay. Oh, uncommon mutagen and fertilizer. All right. Sulfur. Uh, three algae, methane, two sulfur, six algae. Okay. <clears throat> Okay. Two fertilizer. Oh, I'm not gonna have enough eggplant. Mm. That's why I need these gardens. I harvested all these, didn't I? Yep, I think I only have two left. There's one place I want to go um, real quick that I want to show you guys. Um, I'm going to go down here to man made. Stick that in there for right now. I don't need all this O2 on me. Not for where we're going. So I'm going to drop a couple of those off. I'm just going to grab a couple more water. Okay. Um, all right, let's go. See some trees sprouting over there, which is good. So, uh, again, Gamers Unite um, made a mention of a particular bunker that kind of freaked him out. And um, when I was doing some resource collection runs, I found said bunker, at least I believe I did. Um, I kind of haphazardly explored it, but I wasn't, I wanted to save it for a later episode and I just, to be honest, forgot about it, um, until Gamers Unite, um, mentioned it. So I'm going to take you guys out there and show it to you and we'll grab like whatever stuff I can 
uh, from the area because I left a lot out there because I just couldn't carry it with me. Because at the time, like I said, I was doing resource runs and I was full on my inventory. I don't think we have. Oh, look at this. Jeez, tons of stuff in here. I don't know where all this came from. Uh, <laughs> but we'll, I'll work on getting it back to base later. Yeah, I'm trying to remember. Okay, here it is. So I saw this drill thing over here, and I was like, whoa, what is that? And then I was like, oh, what's over here? And then it was like, oh, we have cargo pods and a wrecked escape pod and everything. So I created this little pod here. Obviously, I looted some stuff and left it in here for later. But um, where is that? Did I clear this out? I did. Okay. I can't deconstruct these things. I tried. I didn't come over here to see if I could deconstruct anything in this pod, but I guess we can take that stuff. Uh, I can't deconstruct that. This just says the normal, you know, welcome to your assigned planet. All right, we will get some air here. Up off. Okay, so this place is kind of massive. So yeah, obviously we come down in here. Um, we have a message screen. It's basically uh, another planet crafter who didn't quite make it. Take the ladder down. Uh, there was like doors that were hanging here. I had to deconstruct them to get past. I can't deconstruct any of these grow tubes. Uh, here's another message from the old planet crafter. Talking about how it's hard and he has to wait and he doesn't think it's the right time to terraform. Okay. Um, so we obviously have a bed here. Like some servers. He's talking about not being able to find iridium. He's talking about ice everywhere. Complaining about his sentence. All right, let's take this stuff. I don't know that I want to deconstruct these cabinets yet. So I was finding a lot of iron from deconstructing the doors. So I was just like throwing up cabinets and throwing iron in them. Oh, there's our tree spreader T2. Okay, and then I came in here and there was like chests, <laughs> a lot of them. It's funny he was complaining about not getting iridium and I just picked up like two bars or something. Um, this fertilizer is good as well as this T2 because we don't have to make it then at that point. Okay, I only have one more canister of O2 on me so we gotta watch it. Um, Okay, uh, yeah, and then we can go over here and go down again. This was another cabinet I just threw up to st store some iron in. I couldn't um, deconstruct this this old crafting advanced crafting unit, and now you have these things all over the wall. So it's basically just a montage of these initial message platters, and they're all over the place. <laughs> Uh, guess we'll take the alloy. Um, I'm inclined to leave the Lerma seed and grab that. Yeah. And that is it for the bunker. All these things say the same thing. I checked every single one of them. Uh, they all say this message right here, which is welcome to the planet. It looks like he was losing it in his final days. And, uh, just couldn't take it and went crazy. At least that's what I anticipate happened to him. Mm, that's a rare larva. I'd like to get that. It's too bad my inventory is full.
on Kami. Ugh, so much stuff. Uh, I definitely want to bring this, uh, I don't know if I can just swap things over. I can't. So let's drop this. Let's grab this rocket engine. Drop off this chip. I shall, yeah, drop off this chip. Grab this iron. I'm gonna drop that bag. I'm gonna grab this, drop that off. Pick this up. Let's uh, grab that, put that over there, pick this up. Definitely want to bring this power quartz. Drop that, let's grab that. Uh, Okay, I'm gonna want green bean seeds because I'm gonna use them for in the gardens so that we can mix them with honey and get that special food. Uh, I wish you could just drag over and replace because when your inventory gets full like this, it gets a little crazy. One, two, three, four. And so many iridium rods. We're going to be ready to go when we get those tier 5 heaters. Jeez. Um, yeah, I don't need that bacteria dish. Okay. So we have just have a bunch of stuff here. <laughs> we, need to, we need to take back. Uh, so that's it for that, you know, special bunker. I, I I don't know if there's a yellow case over there or anything. I didn't do a whole lot of exploring. Other than to salvage what I could and then go down and explore that underground area completely. You know what? I forgot to look at what we had in here. I just want to see if there's anything in here I'd rather take. Uh, I think we have plenty of rare larva back for the bee stuff. Um, let's drop those, grab that. Drop both of those, grab those. Two more things. Let's get two more rods. Why not? Okay. So crazy that this ice hasn't fully melted. I don't know at this point if it's ever going to fully melt. Those were butterfly larvae. I wonder if you can only find the butterfly larvae in certain areas. There are trees down over here. starting to sprout we'll go over and check it out oh I can't pick these up hopefully they stick around long enough for me to pick up after I drop all this stuff off Radium. Boom. Okay, let's go out there and see if we can pick that stuff up real quick before it dissipates
don't know if I see any other out here, but we'll take a look. Check out our new trees. These are slightly different ones. It's kind of cool. They have like bulbous berry things at the top of them. It's pretty cool. Because we use that different, different flower to generate a different tree seed. So that's pretty cool that they're different. Uh, okay. Let's drop some of this stuff off, shall we? Second cabinet of Super Alloy. That's fantastic. All right, zeolite. Drop off these seeds. Hopefully, I got enough space. I do. <clears throat> okay, one of each. So I just need a green. Forget what we needed for that recipe now. Jeez. Let's take a look. Two methane, algae, and a squash. Okay. Squash. Okay. Oh, I forgot I was doing the freaking bee out larvae first. Dang it. Okay. Oh, this fertilizer is killer. Wish there was a better way to mass produce fertilizer. Um, okay. thing about it is they don't stick around very long and it's hard to pick them up because everything is shaking so badly. Oh, 
Well, that could have been a catastrophic. I almost died because I didn't have an O2 canister on me. How much space do I have left? Okay. Oh, did you see how quick that disappeared? It was sitting there and then it was gone. Things don't mess around. Yeah, I'm full up, aren't I? Yeah. Okay. They won't be here by the time I get back out, so... We'll try it, but... I doubt it's gonna be a thing. We'll see if we can get them. I'm pretty sure they'll be gone. By the time we get down here. Oh, maybe not. Yeah, they're gone now. Okay. Any of those. Thought I saw an osmium crystal up here in the grass. Maybe it dissipated. Could have swore I saw it in the grass when I was coming out of here. Hmm. Okay. All right, you can see how they Super Alley doesn't last very long when it falls like that. It's okay, we were able to salvage one more piece. Uh, okay. So I need those bee larvae. Uh, I was waiting on eggplant, right? Um, and we got rockets to do yet. We're already at 53 minutes. I've been going slow, not getting stuff done. Now let's see what else we need. Uncommon larva. Are these ready? Okay. Harvest all that up. Put that there. We will come back. That said uncommon larva, right? Okay, let's do these guys. Is that not the right recipe? Uncommon larva, mutagen, and fertilizer. Did I put the wrong thing in there? Okay, <laughs> that was weird. All right, we gotta hope we get a bee larva. If not, um, one of the viewers, I, I apologize. I always forget to write down um, all, all your names when you give me comments, but uh, so that I can use the recycler to put the larvae back in if I didn't get the thing that I wanted and then retry again, which is a good thing to know. I just haven't built that recycler yet. I mean, I guess we can go do that while we're waiting for this. Just in case we have an unfavorable outcome. Let's see, what, what do we need for that? Deconstruction, microchip, oops. 
silicone and magnesium. Easy enough. Forgot I pulled some of my uh, magnesium and put it over in my aluminum uh, aluminum drills so that they could make super alloy. Okay. Three super alloys. Because I can turn off my light. Okay. Um, where do we want to put this? I put this. I mean, we have windows over here. I don't know that I want to block windows. Let's see what, how big this thing is. Can I put it? Yeah, it's not gonna fit here. Let's put it here. weird it's got like a large hitbox on it it's a little bit weird uh, can I not rotate this oh there we go oh, I didn't even check my power grid Jeez. okay how does this work Oh, I just put something in there and then I press the button and then I'm assuming they spit out here, I guess. We will find out if I have to put a larva in here. Yep, and I sure do. And we'll do that and that and that and research. Start sequencing. Well, I guess we get to try out a recycler for the first time. Okay, a very good tip. Thank you very much to the viewer who left me that tip. <laughs> uh, I got another thing for a tree spreader. I don't think I have the stuff to build another tree spreader though. Let's see, what does this tier two need? Oxygen 1950 a second. Wow, that is going to boost my oxygen production significantly. Just the regular one. Oh, so it's a thousand. What's the power consumption? 71. And 90 is 161. Okay, we have just enough power. I wanted to go to that power quartz cave and get more power quartz so we could do another generator, but... I mean, could we do that right now? I mean, we could do that right now while we're waiting. Let's go restock our water cabinet. Okay, good. There's our B. Start sequencing. Oops, that's not what I wanted. I don't know what this is. Okay, um, it's gonna be this way.
let's top off our O2. I'm just grabbing some materials for a module uh, so that we can set one up near this cave. Come on, get up here. Okay. Somebody told me to walk around this. This thing, I don't know. Don't see anything overly special. I mean, there is this cave, maybe this is what they were talking about, but this is the zeolite cave, I think. Yeah, it is. The power quartz one is back here. I can't remember if I grabbed all the power cords out of here or if I... Well, I obviously didn't grab that pulsar quartz. I keep calling it power cords. It's pulsar quartz. So I'm wondering if putting a drill in here will like... A tier 3 drill, if that will get me pulsar quartz. I mean, that's a good amount of quartz there. I think that was the only way in there, yep. So grab this osmium. I'm gonna leave the sulfur for now, I don't need it. I will take that. my O2. Oh shit. Oof. We did not have <laughs> did not have an O2 tank on us. That could have been deadly. Let's see if I can find some cobalt out here to make one with. How much space do I have? I think I have a crafting station in here. Yes, I do. Okay. Let's drink some water. I don't remember. I think we only need four power quartz or er, uh, pulsar quartz for the fusion generator. Thank you. 
let's see. Okay. Mm, I need five. But I do have another pulsar quartz back at the base, so I think we'll have enough to get one more fusion generator. Don't know where we're gonna get any more pulsar quartz. There might still be uh, some out near the mushroom forest. Potentially. stuff right now well there's water in this cave now that's crazy there's still ice in here though too I'm just looking to see if there's power quartz oh man I don't have that I guess I do have the O2 this comes outside where is this what is this uh, I have no idea where we are Looks like another cave. Oh. Another power quartz cave? Or a pulsar quartz cave? Or is this the same one I was in before? Oh, it's the same one I was in before. Interesting. Hmm. I did not know what that crater area was. We got that fifth pulsar quartz, which is good. Apparently I just missed one when I was in there before. Somebody told me to go left on the rim of this, but I, mean, I don't really see anything up here. Oh, what the heck? That was the first time ever I have ever taken fall damage in this game. I don't know what that was about, but... That was almost disastrous. Imagine if I'd been lower on my health than I was. That was bad news. All right, well, we got enough to throw another fusion generator up. We'll do that, and then hopefully we'll have uh, enough to get our garden plots down, and then we will probably call that an episode, seeing as we're an hour and 10 minutes. I have an extra platform over here. Uh, one super alloy short.
Okay, that takes care of our power problem. Let's drop off this osmium. Uh, sulfur. And uranium. Aluminum. Okay, let's go upstairs and see what our larva turned out to be. Hopefully it's another bee. Dang it. Uh... We're only going to be able to get one of these garden plots down. Based on how long it's taking me to get these bee larvae. Um, yeah. Okay, one food, one water. That. Uh, let's go check our super alloy. Uh, you know what? I'm going to need to take a bunch of magnesium with me. Um, let's just take all of that. It's only going to leave us one chest over here, but we can get more if we clear out our other regular tier 1 drills. I found out that these drills are a little bit light on getting magnesium and silica, which is causes my super alloy thing to like screw up. Yeah. Well, there's plenty of magnesium in there. We got silica, so what are we missing? Iron? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Jeez. Uh, cobalt. That's what we're missing is cobalt. All right, well, we'll go take this magnesium back and we will grab some cobalt. Quite a bit of it on the way if I want to just collect all this up. Looked like we were a little light on iron too. So maybe I'll grab a little of that. Where'd that super alloy come from? Did I just forget to drop that off? Um, okay. Uh, cobalt. Uh, again, a little light on cobalt. A lot light on cobalt. Off camera, I'll do some cobalt and just some basic mineral collecting uh, from both our ore extractors and from the ground. Maybe clean up this area a little bit. So you're gonna hear this thing like, see it just going off right now? It's because it was missing cobalt and iron. And for whatever reason, having these two next to each other and utilizing the other resources um, for the super alloy means that I'm getting a lot of aluminum. Yeah, see, it used up all the iron. But I was able to clear out the... I'm gonna grab that actually. Oh, I can't. 
I was able to clear out the aluminum so they should make a few more pieces. Like I said, it would be better if I... It would be better if I had like a couple more drills so that we could keep the, the minerals flowing. But I think it... I, actually, you know, I, I think about it now. If I put more drills out, it would produce Super LA longer, but I think I'd have the same problem. I'd end up with like four drills full of aluminum. Almost three full cabinets of aluminum now. This is crazy. Okay. Um, heat, pressure, and oxygen. Okay, we were doing... Let's go check our larva. I want to get one of these garden plots down. If nothing else, just stick some friggin' eggplant in and be making a bunch of eggplant. Okay, there we go. Now I just need two regular, I just need one regular fertilizer. I don't think I have any in here. I think I took it all out. Yep. Yeah. Okay. One, two, three. We need one sulfur. Eggplant. That's why I had that super alloy on me. It is ready. Okay. We can make our first garden plot. I'm so excited. Let me go see if I can grab eggplant seeds. Can't remember if they're up here or downstairs. Uh, right there. I think I only need one seed. Take two just in case. I don't know how many seeds you use in the garden plots. Double check our power output after putting down that fusion reactor. Yeah, 1658. Okay. Where to put my garden plot? I don't want them being obstructed by all these flowers. Maybe putting it right down here. Open outdoor farm. Boom. Eggplant. It's got a little mini beehive. That's kind of cool. Oh, yeah. You look, see the bees. That's kind of cool. Okay. Oh, I wanted to make that water filter. I don't know where it's at, though. Here it is. Uh, okay, mushrooms, silica. So I need three silica. Four mushrooms. Okay. Four mushrooms. Fabric. Ugh. 
Okay. That should be enough to make our water filter. Allows you to drink directly from lakes. And I don't think we well, have a tier five backpack, right? Yeah. <clears throat> I think the only other thing is this tier three exoskeleton, but actually we can make that right now. Uh, okay. So I have kind of an empty idea. So let's take this off, this off, this off, this off, this off. Let's take, dang it. Where's my backpack? Pick that. Oh. Pick up the backpack. Equip the backpack. Okay, did I pick everything back up? <laughs> okay. All right. Um, I need a couple of osmium, I think. Super alloy. Rod. It's right there. Can you need a uranium rod? Hold on, what did I need? Yeah. The one thing that I didn't bring back with me. Oh, I did bring some back. Okay. Two or three exoskeleton. That is, let's take off uh, this. Put that on. There we go. Uh, so the only thing we really haven't we made the tier two light. Oh, compass, two aluminum. Was that two two aluminum, magnesium, and silica? And there we go. Uh, one of the viewers le the left a message, told me to um, get my compass so that I could help me find the coordinates and know which direction I was facing and walking and helping with, you know, setting, getting these numbers to go the right way, which would be super helpful if I was still doing my coordinates. But you know me, I got to do things the hard way. <laughs> uh, all right, we're almost a 5% breathable atmosphere. Um, I wanted to do more rockets, which we haven't done yet. Um, I mean, I kind of wanted to do another garden plot, but I'm more inclined to maybe go through a tier two spreader down since I have most of the things already, zeolite bark and super alloy. should keep remembering to go up and harvest my bark. I stopped doing it for a while because I had so much, but now I'm getting a little light. Let's see, let's see if we can put some trees over here. Is there water in, in this cave or just down here? Hmm. So we'll put it right here. Tier two spreader. Whoa, really? I mean, what's going on? Is this, is this not considered water? I mean, I can drink from it. Do I not have the stuff? No, I have the stuff. Wait, what does it say? Is the building different? Insert a tree seed to grow. Oh, this does not say it has to be on water. Does this not get built on? Oh. <laughs> uh. 
There's a bonus to making the tier 2 spreaders. I don't want it to be down on the ground though. Can I get it where it's not down on the ground? Oh, I wanted to test drinking from the lake. Plants 175G. Okay. much water do I have on me? None. I mean, now that I have the water filter, as long as there's a body of water near me, I think I'm okay, but I need to replace that O2 canister I used too. Cobalt's getting a little low. Oh, I think I dropped some O2s off in my O2 cabinet, but it's okay. Yeah, let's go check our methane. I'm neglecting harvesting all this stuff too. Yep, just methane, no O2. It's fine. Alright, um... How much algae do we have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Get a couple of sulfur. Okay. Hmm. Should we do a couple rockets before we call it uh call it an episode? How many rocket engines do I have in here? Three. What's our current rocket status? That's here. Seed and plant. I need insect rocket, which I don't have unlocked yet. That's just an oxygen multiplier. Where my bark? Three, three, and two. Okay. that's enough to get our first rocket it's gonna be a plants multiplier Osmium, three compasses, two super ally. Three osmium, three compasses, two super ally. Uh, 
hell? Let's go test out our water thing. Yeah, that's fantastic. Okay, three of those, three of those. I need... Six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Uh, nope. Keep forgetting. Uh, one, two. It's eight and an aluminum. I keep forgetting that. Okay. Three, two. Okay. I think we have enough for both of our other rockets. We're gonna do the map detail rocket and the the tier three GPS rocket. Come on, up the ladder, maybe? Okay. So first thing we're gonna do is our tier three GPS rocket. Fly away GPS rocket. Bye bye. Okay. Now let's get our map information rocket. Look at these larvae just spawning everywhere. Jeez, oh, Pete. That looks like a cool rocket. Uh oh. It's going sideways. <laughs> That's not a good sign. Hopefully, I don't lose my rocket. <laughs> I think, Houston, we have a problem. <laughs> uh, that was funny. Okay. Um. Oh, yeah, this would be this. Oh, yeah, look at there's a crater. Not sure what that white thing is right there. <clears throat> um, radium cave, sulfur, osmium. Yep, super alloy. Yep, we know about the zeolite cave. The iridium cave, or uranium cave, I mean. Aluminum fields. Oh, is that ring underwater now? Interesting. This must be what the detail thing did too. It shows the uh, the mineral my or mineral caves. That's interesting. Um, yeah, cool. Okay, how's our numbers looking? These aren't going up very fast. Neither is our terraformation stages to breathable atmosphere. So I have 94.75% to go. <laughs> Man, I really thought our butterfly domes were gonna push this to the limit and start having this go crazy. Looks like our plant rocket helped out up here. Huh. We didn't get any more messages, did we? Nope. Uh, okay. We are going to call that an episode, I think, folks. I appreciate you hanging out with me today. Hope you enjoyed the video. And until I talk to you again, enjoy your gaming, and I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye.